Henry Lansbury has signed a six month deal with Bristol City and today I'm going to be talking you through everything you need to know about this signing and what we can expect from Lansbury at Bristol City. The 30 year old midfielder started off his career at Arsenal back in 2007 after a couple of loan moves to the likes of West Ham United and Watford he made a move to the city grounds where he spent five years uh, made it 150 appearances for Nottingham Forest and then over the last three years of his professional career from 2017 he has played at Aston Villa. Now to talk us a little bit more about Henry Lansbury, Max Aston Villa fan uh, is just going to tell us a bit about uh, Lansbury as a player, what he did at Aston Villa and what we can expect from him at Ashton Gate. Hello everyone, Max here from Villa on Tour. Now, Henry Lansbury has finally left Aston Villa um, to go to Bristol City. Now, he joined us four years ago in the January of 2017. At the time, he was 26. He was probably the best midfielder in the championship. He was absolutely brilliant. Um, when he first came into Villa, he was spraying passes around, scoring goals. But it very quickly went off the rails. Um, he Admittedly, he, he got done by injuries a lot. Um, he's had constant injury problems. So that's something to be massively wary of. Like, be careful of that. Um, but yeah, like... He, he, was, he was in and around the squad for like the first year and then for the last three years we've seen pretty much nothing of him he's made the odd cameo appearance but he's never had a sustained sort of period in the squad so he's a decent player good midfielder um if you can get him playing regular football and if he stays fit i think he'd be a decent option i know he's just turned 30 um you know he's got a decent shot on him he's really good passer um sort of box to box um but I think, look, the main thing is keeping him fit because constant, constant injury problems. And um, I think the only reason he's been at Villa for this long is because he was on massive fat wages and he just wasn't going to get that any and he wasn't going to get that anywhere else. So he was never going to leave. Um, so fair play to him. He's finally moved on. If, like I said, keep him fit, keep him playing, keep him in a good side. I think you've got yourself a decent player there. Um, so yeah, good luck Bristol City. Hopefully, you, you, you know, you, Henry Lansbury does well for you because I think he deserves it in his career. You know, he's just turned 30, sort of coming to the end of it. Um, so hopefully he can have a good one. Hopefully you lot can have a good season. And uh, yeah, cheers for having me on. Up the Bristol City, up the Villa. Cheers, guys. So thank you, Max, for all that. Hopefully you all uh, learnt a little bit more about Henry Lansbury there. Now, the two main things Max really did talk about there. Uh, first, it was that Henry Lansbury is quite injury prone. Uh, he obviously said the first season or so he spent at Aston Villa. Uh, he was a very, very good player. And then it started to uh, get a few injuries. Um, and then obviously uh, with players coming in, the jo like John McGinn who came in, uh, he wasn't being able to get into the Aston Villa first team. Um, so the two things that worry me there as uh, Bristol City now, as we're in the championship and this year uh, the championship started later than usual, uh, we're playing like every Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Um, and a player like Henry Lansbury, I think, will be wanted to play every week if he can stay fit. Uh, so the only worry I have about that is him keeping fit because we obviously, we've got a lot of injuries at the moment and bringing in a player that, again, may just go on to get injured, uh, I think it's a real, real worry. But again, if we can keep him fit, I think Henry Lansbury could be a top, top player. And moving on then, the second thing um, I took from... Max's thing there was uh, how he is a box to box midfielder and the last box to box midfielder I think we did have at Bristol City was Corey Smith uh, before he left to go to Swansea so it's very good that we have been able to get a box to box midfielder back at the club but again there's no point having a box to box midfielder if we cannot keep him fit. So the next thing we're going to discuss is where can we expect Lansbury to fit in with Dean Holden's starting eleven. Now there's only two real options I can think of when it comes to fitting it Henry Lansbury into one of Dean Holden's uh, choices of starting eleven. Now the first one is keeping it with the four four two like he played uh, at Derby away on Saturday with Zach Fire in the middle and the front two uh, up top. So the first one obviously is just replacing. Uh, either Adam Nash or Zach Viner with uh, Lansbury as that centre midfield role. But again, Zach Viner has been immense this season. Even when he's moved to centre mid, he has done a very good job. And Adam Nash as well is not playing badly at all. The second one then uh, is turning out to the 5 3 2 um, with Zach Viner moving back to that back five and then 
or maybe Adam Nash, Casey Palmer and Lansbury as the front three. But again, that gives you the dilemma of who do you play up top because you can only have two up top and maybe is that Jeju and uh, Semenyo or is that Nak uh, Naki Wilson and Chris Martin? Um, so you'll be leaving one of those uh, who have been playing over the last few weeks out, which again, I think is really harsh. And then the third option is uh, Lansbury being one of those uh, players that is on the bench and then you bring on maybe in the 70th minute to try um, and maybe keep hold of the game. With him being a box-to-box -box midfielder, um, he can do the job of if we need to go and get a winner, um, but also if we do need to try and keep the win and hold on out for the win uh, later on in the game. So then thank you all for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to notifications so never miss a new upload from me on the channel. And also make sure to comment down below your opinions on the signing of Henry Lansbury as well as with the deadline tomorrow uh, to the transfer window. Who would you like to uh, be signed on deadline day? So thanks all for watching and come on your Reds.